I am in Lisbon, Portugal, or rather just north of it in fact, where I'm on the launch of Triumph's new Stratrin and Street Scrambler models. As you can see, it's a beautiful day here and we've had a really long but really awesome day riding through across the coast, through the mountains, so lots and lots of varied terrain. Started off quite wet this morning but the roads were really dried up so we've got to make the most of these two awesome new bikes. So, they are updated, uh, effectively updated versions of both their previous guises. So, the Street Twin is an update of the original model which launched back in 2016 I believe it was. So that's that one there. So let's take a look at this first and then we'll move on over to the Street Scrambler. So, both models, both the same engine as before, but a slew of updated components means it now spins up faster. So you can see that there. So it's the same 900 high torque engine, but as I said, it spins up higher. It's got the same peak torque of 80 Nm at 3,800 RPM, I believe it is, but that does mean that there's more torque available after this peak. So Triumph make sorry. Triumph has said that it's now there's much more kind of torque to it when you're above that peak, so it's effectively a bit more fun to ride. So there's also 18% more power, so that equates to about 10 horsepower, so there's 10 horsepower more than beforehand, so it now makes 64 horsepower, I believe it is, it's about 65 PS. So the bike is a lot pokey than before, and you can really tell it when you're riding. So alongside this updated engine, there is updated tech too, which includes, let's get down here, four put Brembo calipers down here. There's also 41mm KYB cartridge forks, which there weren't before. And obviously updated styling across the bikes a couple of new colours there's this matte ironstone and there is a I think it's a red option on the street twin so they are alongside the traditional gloss black which is still a firm favourite of many I believe so also there's updated engine updated um, hardware if you will there's also updated rider aids so it's not actually cute in this model um, so I can't actually show you but it does have two new rider modes so it has a well it didn't have any beforehand so it now has a rain and road rider mode which boasts different throttle maps um, and you can really tell the difference in rain is as you would expect much more subdued styling as well I mentioned the two new colors there's also now I really really like this personally there's this new street street and twin logo not street and um, so this was a big deal when Triumph unveiled it back into Motsu in the start of October. So it looks really cool. Subtle badging across the bike kind of give it a much more I'd say it look it looks significantly cooler than the previous model. And of course being Triumph there is about 120 or 140 different accessories you can add to this bike, including the likes of heated grips which we've been riding with today, which actually proved a lifesaver because despite being in Portugal it's actually quite cold. So there's two level heated grips down here. You can also get things like tyre pressure monitoring system and being a Triumph there's so many bench seat options to choose from. So the second bike, this is the Triumph Street Scrambler. So similar to the Street Twin, it's got that same engine, same torque, 80 Nm at 3800 RPM, makes 64 horsepower, so exactly the same in that respect. But where this differs is, I'm just going to take it right off and show you, where the so where the streets twin only gets street twin only gets two riding modes this one gets three and it includes the exciting the off-road mode so this wasn't mentioned at Intermont it was only announced it would have two riding modes but in fact it now has three I'm not sure why they're not showing up So effectively has rain road and the new off-road mode which keeps the same throttle map as the road but it deactivates ABS and traction control completely which is exactly what you want if you're planning on taking this bike off-road so as well for taking it off-road it's got spoke wheels down here and new dual sport tires as well as a fairly substantial dash plate down here so that's not too bad Obviously revised ergonomics do make it easy to stand up on and to sit down on when you're both riding on and off road. So again, as with the Street Twin, 
there is two new colour options. There's this is a traditional white option. There's also a red option and there's a new twin colour scheme which is kind of black, kind of silver, so it's two-tone twin. So both bikes are due to be available at the end of January next year, so not long to wait now this but to be honest. Um, the streets twin here will cost from £8,100. I believe it's an extra £150 for either this colour option, the matte iron stone, or the red option. So that will be £8,250, I think. Full figures will be on Vice Down later. Street Scrambler, again available from the end of January 2019. It will cost £9,300. So quite a lot more than the Street Twin. But you do get a lot more back on it. Um, again, standard bike in white will cost £9,300. Additional £150 for red, and I believe it's an additional £350 for the black and white twin colour scheme. So there you have it, Triumph's new Street Twin and the Street Scrambler. Riding them today, they're both really awesome. You can really tell they have that power increase and there's more torque available after the peak. So head to Vice Down soon for our first impressions. One more thing to mention, obviously same forks on both bikes. They are wider on the Street Scrambler, which we explain in our full review. So head to Vice Down to find out more about both bikes, read the full reviews, and see what we thought about riding them.